the Son is represented by the character of Christ and all of that. But what what do you think the point of, because somebody said to me in this conversation, which went a little strange and sideways, what would Jordan Maxwell have to say is the symbolism of the torture of the Son in this play, which I found to be an interesting question. Um, well, I can answer it. Yeah, please do. I can answer that. The, the reason why there was the, the – we're, we're given the understand that Jesus was tortured is because he said himself, of himself, he said in the Scriptures, I am the truth and the light. And therefore, since he is the truth and the light, what is being said there symbolically as a metaphor is that Jesus, every time you read about Jesus in the New Testament, you're reading about the truth and the light. And therefore, whatever happens to the truth and the light happened to Jesus. Whatever <clears throat> was said about Jesus, that's what is said about the truth and light. Whatever is done to Jesus, that's what the world does to the truth and the light. Mm -hmm. So Jesus simply represents symbolically the truth and the light. And therefore, we know that the world is not interested, generally speaking, in the truth or the light. The, you know, we have the story, <clears throat> the symbolic story that makes the point very clearly. If you remember, the governor of the city, I uh, can't remember what it was. I think it was, uh, um, oh, what was the governor's name Pontius in the Pilate, Bible? Pontius Pilate. Pontius Pilate. Was, a, was Pontius the prefect Pilate. of Judea at that time <clears throat> under the Roman Empire. Yeah, and Empire. he, but he brings yeah. Jesus out and he brings out uh, a man, another man that was in prison and he says to the city, the whole city is, is there at this big gathering and the, and the governor of the city says to the people, uh, according to your tradition, you have a, 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 a tradition in your religion that says once a year, uh, I can, I can release a prisoner. One prisoner I can release as the governor and I can release him. So today we have two people that were in prison. We have a man named Barabbas. And everyone knows Barabbas, who he is. He's very famous for being who he is. He's a criminal and a liar. And that's why he's been in prison all these years. He's a criminal and a liar, and there's no good in him. Mm. I so think he's in Sunday on, school. He's they, on my left side. And yeah. then uh, you see the picture, and you hear this, you read it. Well, I think in Sunday they, school they told me he was a murderer, too. Is that, yeah, probably so. Yeah. Probably was, because the, the lies are killing. You know, they are killers. Well, that's true, too, yeah. So and so, still, yeah. Uh, and so then he said, and on my right I have a man, uh, I have Jesus, who is very famous for healing the sick and raising the dead and trying to make peace with the whole world of mankind and make everyone uh, and help everyone to get a better life. So he represents the truth and the light. Which one do I, uh, I give to you? And the scripture says in the Bible that with one voice, there was no dissension, with one voice, everyone in the city cried out, give us Barabbas. That's very famous in Scripture in the Bible. It says when Jesus was presented and Barabbas were presented, the whole city said, give us Barabbas. Why? It's a symbolic truth about life. When the, when the city or the person or the, or the family or the city or the county or the state or the country or the people of the earth are presented with the truth in the light, or the lie, the murderous lies and criminality, the people, the humans on the earth will always say, give us Barabbas. We don't want the truth and the light. Like the movie said, you know, what do you want from me? And the boy said, I want the truth. And the guy said, you can't handle the truth. Mm -hmm. So that was the story in the Bible when Pontius Pilate is presenting uh, the murderous a uh, criminal and Jesus represented the truth and the light. The people said, "You, Barabbas, why? Because you can't handle the truth. You not you don't want the truth. Mm -hmm. 
the truth and the light is not, is to be put to persecuted or nailed to a stake and let it die. Nobody is interested in the truth and the light. We want to hear what we want to hear. <laughs> we want to hear what we will support. We will, we will pay big money to our churches. We will put a lot of money into churches and preachers so they can drive around and fly around in their, in their, you know, in their beautiful uh, jet planes and their Lincolns and their Continentals and they can live very high. Why? Because we'll pay them because they tell us what we want to hear. We want to hear that the Lord loves us and that no matter what we do, we're still loved. And when we die, we're going to go to heaven with the Lord and we're going to see our family and all of that. That's what we want to hear. We don't want to hear the truth and the light. We don't care about the truth and the light. Get rid of it. Well, hang it out, hang, nail it to a stake. Well, here, here's the thing about that, though, Jordan. It, it, it's very much like the election process in, in, in America, too. And I'll tell you why. Because you, you, give us this thing that uh, that we want to hear. Sure, that's one part of it. But it's also uh, uh, don't don't give us the, the thing we're not used to. <laughs> uh, and, and also give us the easy way because look, I can send this guy money and I've got my spot reserved for me in heaven, right? Uh, yep, you know, right. so it's real easy. I don't have to behave correctly. I don't have to be an honest person. I don't have to stop being a hypocrite. I can just send money to this guy and I've got a spot. It's all good. Uh, that's, I mean, that's <laughs> true. That's exactly right. So, so here's the thing about that though is instead of taking like when I see a politician come out and actually speak the truth, my first thought is this guy's got no chance of getting anywhere because <laughs> <True>. <laughs> <laughs> it's the end of it. As soon as he does it, he's gone. You know, yeah. that, that, that's, that's pretty much the way it works is the second one of these guys really starts to tell you the truth, you know, either they, they have an accident, uh, or, or, or suddenly, well, that you know, would be my thought. When I hear someone <laughs> actually saying what is true, I'm thinking, how long is this guy going to be alive to see the sun come up? Yeah. Yeah. So but, what it is, though, assassinated soon. is it, it's easier for people to accept the lie if it's a mm. shortcut. Number one. Number two, they're, they're used to it. It's like, you know, no, give me the guy that lies to me because I know how that works. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's right? like us. He's, he's, he's one of the, he's one of the, the hood. He's uh, one of the, the brothers in the hood. Pretty he's much. like us. I mean, he's a lying thief. And, and, uh, and he knows what he's doing. He's a criminal. And so are we. We, we are lying and cheating and we're criminals too. And so he's one of us. He's one of our boys. He's one of the home boys. We get somebody out there who actually wants to do something to help the, the people of the world. And well, they'll kill him. Right. They'll assassinate him in front of you and there's nobody, and nobody will go to jail. Nobody goes to prison when you kill a good man. Well, see, and so back, back to Pilate, see, back to Pilate and Barabbas, though, it's perfect because it's like we know that this guy is a criminal. <laughs> Yeah, okay. exactly. We, we know that that's exact, but but let us let us have him. And the funny thing about that story, because let's continue on with it, is that oh, Pilate says, okay, I'm going to take him and punish him. Now, according to the story, this is where the flagellants come in, right? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, according to what we've always been taught, although I, I'm not sure what the proof of this is, uh, they they you know they scourged him, they they whipped and you know took the skin from his back, pretty much like Mel Gibson showed you in that movie, uh, mm -hmm. uh, kind of like that. And uh, he's still alive. He brings him out again and says, look, I've done this. This is what I've decided to do with him. And uh, the crowd is not satisfied that the truth has been tortured this much, right? Symbolically, he's the truth. So they're not satisfied that you wounded the truth. They want it gone. Uh, and, and, and Pilate washes his hands of the situation, <laughs> You know, basically says, look, I'm not responsible for this. Literally, there there is a, a part of the story where he washes his hands as well, right? Yeah, well, that's exactly what happened to the guy with uh, WikiLeaks. I mean, they didn't, they didn't, they're not just on, oh, they want him dead. They want to, the, the powers that be want him brought back here. We're going to kill him. We're going to wish, he's going to wish to hell he had never been born telling the people the truth. And the, and the, and the, and, the, and explaining to people and trying to help the nation and trying to stand up for truth and light. Yeah, well, we're going to kill the truth and the light. He's going to wish he'd never been born. Mm 
So I arrest him, beat him up, beat his face in, and bloody him up, and bring him back to America. We're going to torture him and nail him to a stake. And that's, that's how much we Americans love the truth and the light. Mm. And so that's exactly what's going on today. Anybody who stands up for the truth is going to end up nailed to a cross, symbolically. You're going to be nailed. You're going to, like Jesus said, the, the slave is no greater than the master. Right. What they've done to me, they will do to you. They didn't listen to me, and what makes you think they're going to listen to you? So if you try and go out and tell the people what's really going on, like a young man did that was working with the NSA, and he's going to come out and tell us what the NSA and the government's really doing with your information, we will throw him into prison and make him wish to hell he'd have never been born. We'll find every kind of criminal act against him and make him wish he had left the world. Mm. Because we'll teach him a lesson. Don't you ever act like you're going to share the truth and the light with the people. The people don't want no truth and the light. Mm. They want to know that their government, no matter if it's a Nazi, fascist, communist government, Moscow or Berlin, and it's murdering people all over the world, we want to know our government is protected. We don't want to hear no truth and light. Period. At the end of the day, that's the bottom line. We're not interested in your truth and light. And so, therefore, it is said you can't handle the truth. Mm -hmm. That's what the military guy said in the court. You can't handle the truth. And so that's what's going on in the Bible. It's a symbolic story where Jesus represents symbolically the spirit of truth and the light. 